But what we highlight is that there's two different ways you can actually implement Chatkit. The recommended integration is just to embed Chatkit in your front end. So this gives you the ability to customize how it looks, how it feels, um, and you let OpenAI host and scale the backend and do all the heavy lifting for you. Uh, this is where you would leverage chat or agent builder in the back end to power all that. Now on the other spectrum of that, from a more of an advanced integration, you can actually run Chatkit on your own infrastructure. So depending on how you want to implement things, your risk appetite, your developer capacity, uh, this is also the alternative as well. So if you want to have things a little bit more locked down, or if you want to connect it to kind of any agentic background and not limit yourself just to agent builder. Got it. So that means you can bring this chat GPT type of experience to your own like infra, basically your own AI infra. Exactly. Yeah. It just gives you a little bit more flexibility and um, to kind of choose your own uh, adventure. Obviously working for OpenAI, I'm going to be a little bit more biased here and I'm going to strongly suggest that you use uh, Agent Builder for that. But again, in the world of AI, I think everybody's changing, chopping, and it's just kind of nice to have the option to be able to swap and things around.